Hey, you need to uh, get down here. Why? What's wrong? Well, I'm pretty bored. <laughs> I've just been in this hallway doing wheelies, trying to get the juices flowing, you know? Please tell me you're kidding. No, uh, Epiphany doesn't think it's very funny. I'm trying to challenge other patients to uh, drag races, and uh, she's threatened to take away my wheelchair license. Well, you're lucky that's all she threatened to take away. You know, if you came down here, you'd sure help me keep out of trouble. I don't really know when I'll be done. Well, I'll wait up. No, don't. You should rest. I need a kiss from my significant other. From your what? You don't like me using the F word, so I, I came up with some alternatives. Uh, intended... Spoken for. Girlfriend still applies. Yeah, for now, but when I get out of here, I'm gonna tell whoever I want that we're engaged. Uh, well, let's uh, just focus on getting you on your feet first. Uh, I'm gonna call you again before I crash, right? Okay, bye. Hey, I miss you. I miss you too. Evening, Officer Padilla. Detective. Hmm. I'm guessing since Mac didn't come here himself and he didn't send Ronnie, you guys still haven't found the guy who shot me? Because I'm only good for writing up parking tickets and making coffee runs, right? Well, maybe you had too much coffee yourself. Better than the blow in caps I've seen squat members snort and pop with their antacids. Really? Did you report it? And kiss my career goodbye before it even starts? No thanks. The commissioner might not go as easy on some of the guys as... He has with others. I've never seen Mac go easy on anybody. He left Officer Spencer's slide. Lucky he went through hell in that case. Then he took a very convenient leave of absence. Lucky he's a good man. Mm. He's a good cop. Are those two one and the same in your book, Detective? Or does a good character somehow reduce the level of the crime? Is this going somewhere? Do you consider your father a good man, Detective? Draw the line between personal and professional. I don't know. Officer, where do you? I mean, you're here questioning me after hours. Is that because of your professional duty or personal ambition? Well, call me ambitious, but I think whoever shot you needs to be off the streets. I think you need to be off the streets and home in bed. What's it to you? Hey, look, I was a, I was a rookie too once, uh -huh. Officer Padilla. I know what it's like trying to prove that you can handle the grueling schedule, add into the mixture the, the sleep deprivation. Mm -hmm. It can seriously mm -hmm. impair your judgment. First of all, I am not a rookie. Mm -hmm. Second of all, one would think you'd be glad someone in this department is making the shooting a top priority. I, I am. No. You're not. Why is that, by the way? Are you hoping this case never gets solved? I want to find out who shot me. Well, you were shot in a coffee warehouse owned by your father, a known crime figure. Yeah, very good. So what? So the person who shot you might work for your father, might even be your father. It wouldn't be the first That's time. That's a massive assumption based on zero evidence. You, know? you were shot at point-blank range in February 2009 at the home of your father. Yeah, but I... I didn't know that he was my father at the time. Strangely, despite being an experienced undercover officer with expert ratings in marksmanship, you somehow managed to shoot yourself, which you stated in court, under oath, at at least two separate occasions. Uh, I love your tone. Only one I've got. How does your husband like it when he comes home at night? How does your fiancé feel about you not coming home what at all, thanks the, to your I old man? I don't know about that. I saw the ring when I went to your apartment and questioned Miss Spencer. Wait, Miss Spencer is your fiancé. Which means your friend, Detective Spencer, the one you were just defending about being a good cop, despises his batch drug case, will soon be your brother-in-law. I get it. You think that I'm being selective about who should obey the law and who should, right? Well, I see a definite pattern of behavior here. Hmm. Your husband's a good guy, right? What does that have to do with well, anything? Would that come into account if he ever got in trouble with the law? I didn't even say I was married. And I sure as hell don't talk about my personal life at work, so... It's the so... perfume you're wearing. Like Ugh. I said, Lulu wears the same one. It says a lot about you. I have to assume that there's a guy out there who appreciates it as much as I do when she wears it. You done? Yeah. Now back to your shooting. Look, I told you everything I can mm -hmm. about that night. It's looking more and more like I'm going to have to solve this thing when I get out of here. Unless you take that as a personal challenge. Unless you don't like what I find out. still doing up? Well, I, I told you I was going to call you before I, I crashed. You still swamped? Yeah. Um, I'll call you tomorrow? Uh, let's try to make it better than a call. I want, I want to see you here. First thing in the morning would be great. Okay. Just get some rest. Look, this is the second time you've rushed me off the phone tonight. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, I don't mean to. 
I know. I just, uh, I love you. I love you too.